Back You're with welcome. us now from House Homeland Security and House Transportation and Infrastructure. He's Congressman Jeff Van Drew. Congressman, now we have Fed Chair Powell warning that, he can, that the Fed may not be able to c control inflation. Just last year, he testified it was transitory. What's going on? Well, I think he's telling the truth now. He doesn't know. And I'd rather hear the truth than make something up that isn't realistic. Let's face it. The bottom line is we spent too much. Uh, and because we spent so much, so many trillions of dollars, and the way that we closed this economy down during COVID, what happened was absolutely something you could almost guarantee would occur. Now we've got to find out how we're going to get out of this and how we're going to do better. You know, this administration, you've heard me say, is the worst administration in the history of America, in my opinion. I have to tell you, if there was a meter that measured uh, the intelligence and it started at zero, which would be a genius, no stupidity, and all the way went up to 100, where it was 100% stupidity, they'd be at 100%, because everything they do is wrong, including just real quickly, even the energy stuff, you know, if you look at it now, actually the carbon footprint is increasing because of what they're doing, because we aren't producing our cleaner energy, therefore Russia's producing energy, right. and other countries which are dirtier. I mean, it's just so foolish, so stupid, but, so inane. But, you know, you had President it, Biden campaigning. He was going to get rid of fossil fuels, but now he's blaming everyone else, Congressman. Let's watch this. I guarantee you. We're going to end fossil fuel, and I am not going to cooperate with them, okay? It has to be replaced by renewable energy over time, over time. And I'd stop giving to the oil industry, I'd stop giving them federal subsidies. We, we, are, we are going to get rid of fossil fuels. They, they want to do the same thing I want to do. They want to phase out fossil fuels. Today's inflation report confirmed what Americans already know. Putin's price hike is hitting America hard. Oil companies, shipping companies, and gas stations. Republicans in Congress are doing everything they can to stop my plans to bring down costs. <laughs> he doesn't know where a Z show up in that. You know, Congressman, what the president's doing, the U.S. was energy independent under Trump. It started under Obama. America is a superpower in oil and gas, but Biden is wrecking that in millions of jobs. At millions of jobs. The only free world source of oil and nat gas with enough proven reserves and economic capacity to change the direction of energy prices is the United States. Even France, French, you know, French President Macron warned Biden, you're going to go to Saudi Arabia, you're not going to get oil out of them, they're already pumping flat out. So there's that, but France has an all of the above approach. Oil, gas, nuclear, coal. Now you've got, Obama did the same thing. Biden has gone so far to the left of Obama here. All of the above is absolutely what is necessary, number one. I mean, that is what we should be doing. It's what we could do and reach our, the goals that we want to make. Secondly, as, as I mentioned before, Biden doesn't even have a real sense. Maybe some people around him do. I don't know. I don't know who's controlling this thing of what's going on. I mean, Macron had a school him today. You know, and they actually had to take him out of the public venue because they were afraid he was going to continue to say stupid things because he didn't even know that the Saudis weren't going to help him. He didn't even know the United Arab Emirates wasn't going to help him. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's embarrassing the country. Uh, it, you know, again. You ought to get a cognitive test. You know, we got to get to this. We'd France. Be if we saw it. Here's the other thing France, Germany, Austria, the G7 nations, too, they're firing up the coal plants for electricity Absolutely. as Russia is cutting natural gas supplies after the president had, after the president had green lighted Russia's Nord Stream 2 pipeline. And now Russia's cutting off their gas supplies. So they're firing up coal plants for electricity in Germany, Poland, the Netherlands. And here's the other thing, too. The new report is coming out from Real Clear, Real Clear Energy, Congressman. China and India, they've so fired up their coal plants, they're wiping out all of the U.S. gains and achievements in cutting yes. GSEs, greenhouse gas emissions, since 2005. Absolutely. And that's what I meant when I talked about the stupid meter. 
You know, how stupid can you be literally because of the policies that you've enacted? Not only you have hurt the economy, reduced the average level of people living in the quality of life. What you've also done is actually increase the carbon footprint. Okay. I almost don't know why. I can't imagine how we actually got it done. Yeah, and China's using coal for its electricity to make solar panels. Okay, Congressman Jeff Andrew, great to have you on. Come back soon.